Hi everyone, I'm Noko Mabo. With Switch Flow, we slow down the pace of the day and we'll start very gently with a breathing exercise and transition smoothly into a gentle flow. It's suitable to all levels. There will be modifications. If you are new to yoga, you may want to use a yoga strap and a block, anything that can be used as a block and as a strap. And also, uh, you can use a pillow. And we're gonna start sitting up. Find the most comfortable position for you. So I'm sitting on my pillow. You can sit on the block or you can just sit on the floor. You may be more comfortable with your the sole of the feet together. Uh, whatever comfortable position you find is fine. Let's sit up tall, lengthening the spine. And I invite you to either close your eyes or find a visual spot, maybe two or three feet in front of you. Hands are relaxed on the thighs. And bring the focus to your breath. Without changing anything, just observe your breath. Observe the movement of your ribs your abdomen as you breathe in and out. And let's try to slow down the breath. Let's take a big breath in and out. Again, big breath in and out. One more. going to continue with this breath. And then when we exhale, we're going to open the mouth. Big breath in, a bit more air in, mouth open, and let the air out. <sighs> Big breath in, a little bit more, mouth open, and out. <sighs> Just let all the air out. Big breath in, and out. Let's do one more. Big breath in. Mouth open and wash off all the stress of the day. Let's keep a deep, slow breath. Your mouth can be open or closed throughout the practice. Gonna add a shoulder shrug as we inhale. Let's bring the shoulders up and open the mouth. <sighs> exhale again, inhaling up all the way up and exhale. <sighs> and one more, inhaling up, shoulders up and exhale down. <sighs> Breathing on your own, a few more rounds. Mouth can be open or closed as you exhale. Now keeping the eyes closed, we can switch the legs. If you have the right leg front, place the left leg in front. I'm going to invite you to observe the stillness between the inhale and the exhale. See if you can settle a bit longer into each stillness without straining. I'm going to continue with this breath throughout our practice. We're going to use the breath as a guide to initiate every movement, to hold positions a little bit longer, to come back to the present time. 
Whenever you feel you get distracted, you notice thoughts coming back, find your breath again. Very slowly, let's open the eyes. Good. Inhaling, we push the chest forward, chin slightly tilted, creating space in the back of the neck. Exhaling, we round the spine. If you're sitting on a block or a pillow, you can remove it. And again, inhaling, opening the chest, bringing the chin slightly up, creating space in the back of the neck. Neck, exhaling, rounding the spine, tucking the chin under. A couple more times. And exhale. Finding your own rhythm. Basically, your movement follows your breath. We all have our own rhythm. So it means you don't have to follow my rhythm. I'm just here to guide you. And center. Let's get on all fours. <clears throat> Gonna place the hands flat on the mat, trying to really open and spread the fingers as wide as possible. And making small circles around the wrist. Warming up the wrist. And other direction. Back to center, shifting the weight forward. And back. And forward. A bit further forward, keeping the elbow straight. And back. Hold it forward. Let's bend the fingers a little bit. And use your fingertips to push the shoulders back. And I press the heels of the hands to pull the shoulders forward. You may not be sure what to do at first. It takes some practice. But eventually, when you start doing hand balances, it's going to be very helpful. So we try to initiate really here, pushing, pressing my fingertips as deep as I can into the mat. And it pushes my shoulders back. Now pressing the heels of the hands center. Gonna turn the thumbs out with the fingers close to the knees. Inhaling. Exhaling. Only going as far as you're comfortable. Inhaling, hips up. Exhaling down. Following your own breath again. Hold it here, pause. Inhaling up, back to center. And inhaling, bringing one leg up, knee up, pushing the heel up, opening the heart. Exhaling, knee in, chin under. And inhaling up, opening, exhaling in. It's another cat and cow, we engage the leg. One more. And center, we keep the knee off the mat. And up, bring this foot up, and center. And up, center. Hold it up, big circle. Reverse. If your wrists are bothering you, feel free to get into your fist. Thumbs up, pointing straight front. That's another option. Inhaling up, opening the heart. Exhaling, rounding the spine, tucking chin under, pulling the knee further forward. And inhaling, opening the chest, pushing the heel up. Exhaling in. One more. Back to center. Inhaling, opening the knee. Exhaling down. Remember, your breath is the guide to your movements. Inhaling, we open. Exhaling, down. Last one. Inhaling, open, hold. Circles. Notice the sensations into your hips. We're warming up the hip socket. 
reverse and back to center hands flat split the big toes together knees wide open preparing for child pose so if you are new to yoga this is a resting pose you can always come back to it at any point in time throughout the flow when you get tired when you need a break it's also a good time to reconnect with the breath big breath in and out on your own settling into the moments of stillness Our next inhale, let's come up on all fours. We're going to take care of our feet today because they spend the whole day into our shoes and we hold out a lot of stress. So what we're going to do, we're going to tuck the toes under. And I know that for some of you it might be uncomfortable. So if it's very uncomfortable, it can be on your forearms. Just start from right there. And maybe that's how far you go today. And wherever you, you are today, that's fine. That's where you're supposed to be. If you can handle it, you can come all the way up here. Or even bringing your shoulders stacked over your hips. So hold it right there. Finding your breath again. Inhaling. Exhaling, stretch. Inhaling, hold. Exhaling, lengthening the neck. Inhaling, reaching up with the arm. Exhaling, bending the elbow, pressing down with the other hand, flat on the elbow. And you can even go a bit further by bringing your chin up. Slowly releasing. Other side, inhaling. Exhaling. At any point, if it's too unbearable, you can just release, tap your feet, and then go back. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, center. Exhaling, bending the elbow, pressing the elbow down with the opposite hand. And option to bring the chin up to go a little bit deeper. Slowly releasing. Now we can let go of the feet and just stop the floor. Moving into down facing dog, tucking those toes under again, lifting the knees, bring the chest back. Let's find our down facing dog. Now for those of you who are new to yoga, you can also do the same thing on your forearm at any point. Okay, and then extending the knees, that's an option, you can always Try it and then get into a child pose. Down facing dog, knees bent. Let's press the left heel down, pressing the chest back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Heel up, inhaling, chest back, exhaling, right heel down. Inhaling, exhaling. If you find it a bit uncomfortable on your hands, try to shift the weight more, more into the fingers. Imagine you're lifting the heels of the hands almost. Both heels up, inhaling, exhaling, we're going to alternate, inhaling up, exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down, inhaling up, and option to extend both knees. And pressing the heels down. And up. And down. And up. And down. You can do the same thing on your forearms. And inhaling into a plank. Shoulders are pushing away from the floor. Belly is lifted up towards the spine. Hold it right there. Long neck. Breathe. It's a good time to reconnect with the breath. Challenging yourself 
making sure we're not holding the breath in, breathing in, opening the mouth, again, breathing in, and out, knees down, staff pose, all the way down, we keep pressing the feet down, inhaling, baby cobra, exhaling down, and inhaling, opening the heart, exhaling down, facing dog. Same thing a few more times around with or without modification. So I'm going to show you again with modification. Knees down, staff pose, all the way down. Inhaling, baby cobra. Exhaling down. Inhaling, tucking the toes under. Exhaling down, facing down. Without the modification, inhaling, plank. And from here, we push, shift the weight forward into the big toes, staff pose. Again, we can go all the way down with a baby cobra. And exhaling down, facing dog. Remember, if this is your first time or you're just starting yoga, you can rest into a child pose for a couple breaths. And inhaling, plank. You can even lift one foot if you want to challenge yourself. Down and here, up, facing dog. Opening dog. Exhaling down, facing down. Breathe. Just lift the heels, knees down, child pose. Big breath in. Exhaling, feel the breath washing off all over your body. Big breath in. Mouth open. <sighs> Inhaling up. Different option for the side plank. If you have a yoga practice, you can go directly into your side plank on your hand. Otherwise, we can start on the forearm. Lifting the hips, placing the top foot in front. We're going to hold it right here. Next step would be to place both feet here. And then, last option, so pick your option. Breathe. And facing down, hold it again. Down facing dog. Breathe, let's stay right there. Breathing in and out. And back to center. Let's do our side plank on the other side. So if you're getting on your forearm, same thing, I'm gonna face the other side. So I'm not turning my back to you. Top leg in front of your bottom knee and try to bring the hip up. You can hold your right there, right here. You can have your hand on the mat. Now be careful if you have your hand on the mat, the fingertips point towards the small end of the mat. If you have your forearms, fingertips point straight front. And elbow plank, hold it there. And child pose again. One more breath. With the next inhale, we're gonna go keep the chin and chest really low. And opening the heart. Exhaling, child pose. And again, inhaling, keeping everything very low. Exhaling, child pose. Inhaling, same thing. Up facing dog. Exhaling down, facing dog. Hold. Let's draw the right leg out. Keep pushing the chest back. Now if you want to challenge yourself, you can extend, extend the opposite arm. And inhaling plank. 
Exhaling other side. Option to extend the opposite arm. We keep pushing the chest back. And we're going to curl the left knee, pulling this knee all the way forward. Hold your right this, right there. Breathe. I'm gonna place the back knee down. If you have any concern with your back knee, feel free to fold the t-shirt or a towel underneath your knee. If you have your block, this way you can use your block right here. You can also place your forearms. Put down wherever you are, this way you want to be. Just reconnecting with the breath again. Notice any areas of tension, maybe in the groin area. This way you want to breathe in, feel the air going into this area, and release the tension as you exhale. Three more deep, slow breath. Placing the hands on the floor, then not on the floor, tucking the back toes under. Belly lifted, coming up, inhaling, exhaling, going a bit lower. Inhaling, opening the heart, exhaling, chest down. Inhaling up, exhaling down, inhaling up, hold it right there, pressing the shoulders down, warrior one, back foot is flat on the floor, interlacing the fingers, inhaling and opening the chest. Inhaling, coming back to center. Exhaling, finding warrior two. Extending the arms. Feeling the weight pressing on the outside edge of your foot. Make sure this foot is not tilted in. Really flat, same thing. Put some weight into the outside edge of the foot. Extending the arms. And the warriors who want to feel strong, we're going to hold it right there. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Breathing in, reaching forward. Inhaling, reverse warrior. Inhaling, half angle, placing the elbow on the thigh, reaching up. Gonna go forth and back following our breath. Inhaling, back, inhale. Exhaling, half angle. Full angle if you have your own practice. Inhaling, reverse. Exhaling, half angle. If you want to go a little bit deeper, start with a block maybe. Inhaling, reverse. Exhaling, placing the hand on the block. And inhaling. Exhaling. Hold it there. Bring the arm down. Runner's lunge. Finding our side plank on the right side. So I'm going to face you again. Oops. Remember, any option is good. Hold it right there. If you want to challenge, bring your knee up. Keep pushing your hips up and find ourselves into a runner's lunge, placing your foot down, twist. Hands down, down facing dog. Breathe. Remember, you can always find your child pose. And knees down. Child pose. We're going to work 
on the other side. Inhaling up. Exhaling down, facing dog. Let's draw the right leg out this time. And inhaling, pulling the knee all the way through. Runner's lunge. Again, placing the back knee on the mat. Option to use a block. Extending the arms, tucking the back toes under. Next inhale, coming up. Try to stay low here. Inhaling, exhaling, chest down. Arms come up. Inhaling, opening the chest. I know it requires some balance. So if you're feeling that you're moving a little bit, not stable, that's normal. Okay, it takes practice. Inhaling up, finding a warrior one. Hold. Interlacing the fingers. And inhaling, opening the heart and chest up, chin up, bending a bit deeper into this front knee. Inhaling, reaching the arms forward, exhaling, warrior two. Adjusting the leg position, making sure you have weight on the outside edge of both feet, palms facing down, warrior two. Now if you want to challenge yourself, you can lift your front heel and hold it there. A little bit deeper, bending the knee more. Reaching as far forward as possible. Inhale, exhaling, reverse. Inhaling, arm down. You want to avoid leaning into the thigh. Okay, you should be able to lift your elbow. Inhaling, reverse. Exhaling, half angle. Again, inhaling, exhaling half or full angle. Hold it there. Runner's lunge. I'm going to face the other side. Hold your runner's lunge. Side plank on the left side this time. Any option. Is a good option. Any modification is available. Option to hold your foot here. Option to extend the leg. And placing this foot all the way forward, bending the back knee, standing the front knee. If you have your strap, this when you want to use it. Gonna stop the shoulders over the hips. So one option. Hey, I know. I know. I know. I know. One option is to place your strap under your foot, maintaining the neutral alignment of the spine. Slowly walking the hands down, pushing the chest forward. The other option is to place your hands down. Breathe. Big breath in and out. Big breath in and out. <laughs> Option to hold it here, especially if you have any knee concerns or to sit down here on your heel and reaching forward. And slowly releasing, bending this knee, releasing the strap, feet together, tucking the toes under, lifting the knees, 
Breathing in. Exhale, breathe out. Tuck the chin under. Inhaling center. Keep the knees off the mat. Exhaling back. Chin towards the knees or even between the knees. Really push your shoulders back. Round the upper back. Inhaling center. Exhaling. And back to center. Switching leg. If you're using a strap, just place it just underneath the toes, pushing the tailbone back, chest forward. And maybe you're right there and you feel the tightness, tension in your hamstring, just hold it there. can either push your heel forward, we can try to press the bottom of your foot down, keeping the knee straight. So this requires some flexibility in the ankle. If it's uncomfortable, just keep your ankle flexed. I like to close my eyes to really focus on any areas of tightness, breathing into them. Option to hold it here especially if you have any knee concerns or to sit on your heel same thing reaching forward inhaling up feet together okay so we're gonna go into a pigeon if you've never done it before or if you know it's a tight position it's where you can grab your pillow and have it handy from all fours down facing dog inhaling drawing the heel up we don't want to open the hip at this point, really pulling this hip up, this hip, this heel up and back, chest back. Inhaling, bringing the knee in between the elbows, opening the heart, rounding the upper back. Inhaling up. Exhaling, we bring the right foot behind the left wrist here. And we're gonna place the heel down. This way you may need either, I can show you, I'll show you with the block, it's not comfortable with the block. Or your pillow. It's pretty comfortable with the pillow. So the idea is to bring your bottom leg, the part of your bottom leg, as parallel as possible to the front of the mat. You want to avoid having your foot right here pointing towards the back of the room okay instead try to bring it here and notice when i bring it here i tend to lean to my right side so i lift my hips and try to lean into it hold it right there option to go either further down So we really want to use the breath, breathing in and out, breathing in, opening the mouth, <sighs> melting into the position. down your breath, your body is more relaxed, muscles are going to loosen up, it takes a few breaths, just 
bring the shoulders up and this time we can roll onto this front leg swing the other leg around inhaling reaching up exhaling forward again option to have a strap Inhaling, coming up, crossing both legs and shifting the weight forward, preparing for a down facing dog. Inhaling, drawing the left heel up, pressing the chest back, lifting the shoulders away from the floor. Inhaling, plank, rounding the back, pulling the knee between the elbows and inhaling. Exhaling, bring the left foot behind the right wrist. Remember, if you're using a pillow, it's the time to place it under your hip. And you'll notice there's one side that's much less comfortable than the other side, it's much tighter. Big breath in, mouth open. Allowing your body to settle a little bit deeper, to melt into your pigeon. For those of you who have a bit more advanced practice, you can keep your shoulders up. You could curl your back leg, grab the ankle with your arms. Very slowly bringing ourselves up, shifting the weight into the front leg, swinging the back leg around either with a strap or without. <laughs> and maybe watch one thing here. Sometimes we, we have a goal to reach the leg, so we dive with the shoulder. And look at my back. I'm rounding my back. I'm reaching for the thigh. So instead, what you want to do to lengthen the spine and maybe that's how far you go today. So it's not so much about how low you go, it's really feeling that you're going deep. And maybe you're not deep, but you feel it deep. Slowly rolling up, crossing our legs, inhaling, hands to heart center, exhaling, twisting to one side, either side, inhaling center, exhaling, twisting the other side, inhaling, reaching up, back center, exhaling, reaching for the mat, gripping the mat with the fingertips. Lengthening the spine and twisting at the same time. Inhaling up. Exhaling other side. Inhaling up. Exhaling. If you want to go a little bit deeper with your twist, you can have your hand reach around the spine, grabbing the thigh. Inhaling, last time up, exhaling, switching side. You 
it's feeling the twist from the belly. So it's the belly button that's trying to turn to twist. Inhaling center. Exhaling, reaching forward. If you have a block, you can always place your forearms on the block, maybe the head on the block. Your hands down. Walking the hands back. Switching leg. Inhaling up. Exhaling, reaching far. Slowly rolling up, extending both legs and shaking the legs. So you have the option to end your practice on your back, going back to your deep, slow breathing, or to sit up tall with me. Hands to heart center. If you enjoy this practice, please give me a thumb up and share it with others. And don't forget to subscribe, it's free. Namaste.